On Friday, July 26th, Comanche tribal members put on a powwow to honor Kerwin Dunleavy at Watchtaker Hall. Tina M. Hula, who helped organize the powwow, said the hosts are family and friends of Mikey Fried and co-sponsored by Kerwin Dunleavy. I was raised um, with cultural activities, traditions, and customs, and um, I felt like in this success, you know, we campaigned for Crow and Dunleavy and the Comanche people chose them. And as Comanches, how do you celebrate that? You know, we there are many different parts of our community, of our people. They do things in many ways, celebrate. And we wanted to get together um, and celebrate their success with a meal, sharing a meal and some singing and dancing, just getting together and, you know, um, looking forward to good and great things by sharing that time together. She said the powwow is part of that custom. The powwow is for um, Crow and Dunleavy as the new, as the uh, this year's law firm for the Comanche Nation. And through that custom of sharing a meal, song and dance and fellowship together is to celebrate their victory. The Comanche people chose them. You know, uh, when we chose a new chairman, uh, this chairman, having that uh, cultural family and teachings, he, along with the new vice chairman, they hosted a powwow, a little powwow gathering, feed, things like that. It's the way families want to celebrate. When somebody has a success, you get together and you, you want to share a meal. Um, and singing, you know, and dancing brings joy, moves the spirit. And Hula said she's been working on the event since the campaign. I grew up with powwows, and uh, so I, I have that background of organizing, and I just start in advance, you know. I, I always keep, good Indian women keep things on hand for giveaway or for upcoming events, you never know when it's in. So you just kind of get started early, and you start preparing and staging and putting things together. And then, of course, you don't want to put the cart before the horse, um, and we didn't really make any plans um, until after that final vote and when they did you know what a wonderful thing they were chosen and so in that you know we wanted to celebrate so then we really got down to things and got our things together. She said McBride and Crow and Dunleavy played an important role in the Comanche Nation. When you're a child you don't really understand how important it is how important it is but as I've grown and continue to learn you know law is Law is really the foundation in America, and especially for Native American tribes, specifically Indian law. And Mike McBride has dedicated his career to Indian law, and he has achieved by his own merits great successes that affect Native American tribes across, you know, the country. When you're able to set a precedence or make a change, not only are you representing and doing the work for the tribe that you're doing it on behalf of, but that can set um, a new standard or make an impact on Native America. And Mike has contributed to that. And that's why he's very, you know, he's very near and dear to our heart. And he's grown in his relationships with the Comanche people as well as Indian country. And Hula said McBride has been building bonds to have greater insight into Indian law. Reporting for the Comanche Nation, PIO News, Natasha Mercadante.